Bible is still in that name. He says, Jesus, because uh, his healing was in that name. Uh, he cried, Jesus, because uh, his deliverance was in that name. Uh, he cried, Jesus, uh, because salvation was in that name. Uh, he cried, Jesus, uh, because breakthrough is in that name. Uh, he cried, Jesus, uh, because peace is in that name. Uh, I'm trying to help somebody tonight. Uh, you keep calling Larry and Harry uh, and Jane and Judy. Uh, David, he's showing us something that, that many people won't pay attention to because we start to holler off the fact that he hollered. But what he showed us is that even though I'm blind and I'm postured over him on the side of the road and people feel like I don't know nothing, I do know who he is. Okay. Never mind. I do know. I do know that he is the one who was prophesied. He's the one that was promised. He's the one that we've been waiting on. Some of y'all been waiting on him and you've been waiting on her and you've been waiting on them and you've been waiting on it. But I need you to recognize you don't need that to need Jesus. And so now he shows us. He shows us that we got to be careful. Preach on the ghost. How we judge people based on where they are when we encounter them. The Holy Ghost, I hear you. We got to be careful. Let me help the saints that we So with the consensus of the day, with 
the consensus of the day, there were two things that followed uh, people who were blind. Number one, they were going to be broke. Because <laughs> if you can't see, you can't produce nothing. <laughs> 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 When you're broke, it usually puts you in a posture of shame. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we got this place. It's not important. He's on the sidelines. But now he's posturing if I can take the liberty to say in a place of shame, in a place that, that he understands. I'm, I'm living with the results of something that I did not cause to come on my side. Uh -huh. Oh, it, it, it's right. But don't y'all remember um, that there was another man who was born blind and there was a question that everybody asked. Who that is? He gon' see. Let me ask, can he see? Uh, and they want to know when he gon' see. Uh, they wanted to know who sinned, who messed up, who dropped the ball. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Pastor, yeah. in shame because there are some things that we go through that people don't. They don't want to know what's God's purpose for this. They want to know what did we do to end up where we were. Uh -huh. yes. Man is on place. He's on place. The significance and he's postured in shame and he has no sight. He has no sight. Often when we hear sight, uh, it's synonymous with vision, right? When you go to the, is it the optometrist? Uh -huh. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When we, when we go to the optometrist, they, they have you read them the letters yeah. and it determines whether or not you got 20 20 vision. And so we tend to make sight and vision synonymous. But, but I want to suggest to you, while they are very similar, uh, there's one difference. There, there, there's one difference because uh, this man, yes, naturally he was blind, naturally he could not see. But I want to suggest to you uh, that it was more than him just lacking natural sight. Uh, uh, but not only does he lack sight, uh, but I believe that in his case, because he has no sight, uh, he also has no vision. Uh, and when I talk vision, I ain't talking 2020. Uh, Just noise, uh, but this thing was pretty. 